In this video, I'm going to show you how I spent just rupees 10,000 in Fui, oh, so much money in the beauty of a city called Delhi. But before we get started, I kicked things off by hiring a chauffeur who drove me to the grammar room in Meroli for brekkie. It's operated by Olive Restaurants, the same folks behind Soda Bottle Opener Wala, Monkey Bar and more. The place boasts a nice and airy interior. However, I chose to sit outdoors, enjoying the refreshing lush green views. I wanted to start my day with coffee, but they offered me one with alcohol in it. Who in their right mind would say no to that? The alcoholic in me, or should I say my father's genes, instantly felt that I wouldn't mind this coffee every day. Then I indulged in a generous portion of Parma ham all the way from Italy, topping my burrata salad. The interplay in flavors, the meatiness from the ham along with the sweetness from the candied walnuts, richness from the creamy burrata was nothing short of heaven on my plate. Sadly, then I found out that one of my subscribers had ditched me while I was settling the bill of 1885 rupees. The bill didn't sting that much because the next place I was headed to dented my wallet quite a bit. Welcome to Cafe Dali in Lodi Colony. A classy and cozy Italian restaurant that serves this Italian style golgappa as an amuse bouche. It had one job to excite my palate but did the exact opposite. Yes, it's free, but pro tip is to just skip it. While I initially contemplated getting some caviar, the price tag was a staggering. <laughs> Can someone please sponsor me already? How am I supposed to eat these things? Opting for a more affordable option, I went with lobster. It flew all the way from Andaman to become this beautiful ravioli. Ah, thank you. The sweetness of the lobster meat paired wonderfully with the rich buttery sauce. It was so good that I decided to venture further and try one more dish in the form of truffle for the first time in my life. However, in the midst of all this good food, I broke a glass. I must admit was quite embarrassing. Moving on to the food, Cafe Dali did it again. They serve chaat again. Now this time it's Italian style papri chaat. The truffle by itself was so subtle unlike the fake truffle oil that we get at most places. However, the pizzetta was a true taste of luxury. It boasted flavors of goat cheese, avocado and truffle shavings. Oh so good. With a bill of 4620 rupees for the two dishes, I decided to take along my friend from Andaman, who I named Kathy, which by the way has nothing to do with the person who ditched me. Together, we moved on to our next destination in pursuit of some coffee. I arrived at the beautiful Pickwick restaurant at the Claridge's Hotel where I got myself this cup of okay looking cappuccino. It came with these accompaniments just like my own sidekick Kathy. I couldn't resist letting her witness me savoring a 643 rupee coffee. Hey, please don't hold this against me but surprisingly the coffee lived up to its price. The ambience was luxurious, the cappuccino was just right, not overly milky, not too strong exactly how I prefer it. Now with over 70% of my budget already spent, it was time to take a break from eating and save costs. So I hopped on to the metro where Kathy could travel for free. We arrived at the beautiful Jama Masjid. Sambhav joined me at the top of one of the minars where the views were scenic to say the least. But then when we went down, we witnessed real magic. The sunset simply stole the show with its magnificent display of colors. Later, it was time for dinner, so we navigated the narrow streets of Purani Dili and finally arrived at Haveli Dharampura, a sensational looking place which will for sure take you back in time. We ordered these cocktails which were a bit too sweet, so we quickly swapped them for some beer instead. While we weren't really impressed with their service, we certainly relished their mutton biryani. Biryani, The grains of rice were perfectly textured and the meat was tender and flavorful. A true feast for the senses. Amidst all these indulgences, a moment of realization struck. Somehow, look who's crossed with me, I forgot about Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry, Gary. Interestingly, we were asked to pay at the counter, which was quite unusual for such an upscale place. Overall, the experience left us somewhat disappointed, but in an attempt to lift our spirits, we decided to indulge in some dessert. We made our way to social at Nehru Place, but instead of eating our dessert, Sambhav had a different idea. Let's drink it, he said. It took the form of a spiked sugarcane juice, but this time I made sure to share some with Tati. No! <laughs> However, I drank until I exhausted my 10,000 rupees, and for more food and fun, subscribe to DCD Eats.